Hello everyone, uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, create a simple calculator. You will learn about the variables, uh, about the built-in function, how to get the uh, data from the user, and what are the different ways of writing the result uh, of this calculation uh, or presenting this uh, result of the calculation back to the user. I'm going to use WebStorm here. I already have created the project, so I'm going to create a simple HTML file. I'll call it f1.html. And what I'm going to do is I uh, start adding this script tag. We know whenever we want to write JavaScript, we have to open and close this tag. This tells the browser that uh, we want to write JavaScript and this is not HTML. So in order to get the right to this calculator, uh, of course we need an algorithm, we need to get two values from the user first and second number, then we have to calculate these numbers. So we have to add them together and then uh, finally we have to simply present it back to the user who has entered uh, these two uh, values. Uh, in order to be able to do that, we need to create a variable or create a variable called num1. We have to remember there are uh, certain rules for naming a variable. It cannot be a keyword. It cannot contain um, a special character. It's case sensitive and it cannot start with a number, right? Uh, for sure, we definitely we create a variable that makes sense. So here I'm going to use a prompt function is a built-in function that allows me to ask user a question and receive their input. So the prompt receives a string. In this case, I will write enter the first number uh, that will ask the user to enter the first number. I will repeat that for the second one as well. So I just change the first to second and uh, num1 to num2. Now that I got these two values, I want to simply go ahead and store the result or sum of these two numbers into another variable that I call sum. So simply go ahead and put sum uh, equal num1 plus num2. Uh, now is the time to present this data back to the user. I'm going to use alert function is a built-in JavaScript function that allows me to print uh, to uh, or present the data to the user. Let me go ahead and open the browser so we can see how this uh, simple calculator work. So just refresh the page and it will ask me for a number, first number and the second number. I enter 10 and 2. The result should be 12, but as you can see it's 10 02. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to inspect element and the console tab. I will write the prompt. I want you to pay attention to the data that prompt or value that prompt returns. So I would just put in a string, enter a number and uh, hit the enter. The prompt comes up. I enter the value. As you can see, number 10 uh, has double code around it. This indicates that this value is a string. So in JavaScript, plus 10 has two uh, um, uh, two functionality. One is adding two numbers and the other one is concatenating two string or multiple strings. So you put all the string into one. In this case, since uh, the value we get from the prompt is string, JavaScript will concatenate these two. So instead of 12, we were getting 10.2. In order to fix this, we are going to use a built-in function called parse int that allows us to uh, extract the information from the uh, string, in this case, I will get the value of num1 and I get the value of num2. And uh, since both of them are an integer, it should simply work and sum up the value and store it into sum. Let's try. So I refresh the page and I will enter the value 10 to the sum I got 12. There are different ways of uh, prompting the user with uh, the values or uh, presenting value to the user. Uh, I just want to show you another way of writing this or more descriptive result to the user. So I will write the string, the sum of, um, at, now I want to show num1 and num2. So I just simply say plus num1. I need a plus sign as a string between num1 and num2. So I add that one. Then I will include num2. So I'm concatenating num2. And of course, I need the equal sign to separate these two numbers from the result in a string to show the equal sign. And then at the end, I have the sum. So now... If I go back to the browser, refresh the browser, enter 10 and then 2, I should be able to see the sum of 10 plus 2 is equal 12, right? So there are different ways of doing uh, this presentation. I can use document.write is another method of showing the uh, values or content to the current user. So I just copy this string, paste it between the brackets for document.write. Uh, I go back to the browser, refresh the page, I enter the value. 10 and 2. 
simply you see this is the alert and next one is document.write that writes to the body of the document well there is one more way of doing this i will create a div tag it can be any other tag as long as you can write between the tag and i give an id we know that id has to be unique so i'll give an id buffer and i close the div tag now what i can do is with javascript there is a built-in function that can be called to access that div tag so I simply go and say document dot get element by id and i pass the id buffer in this case so i get the buffer now if you want to write something in between the tag you should access the inner html property of that object or of that tag so simply go ahead inner html is equal uh, uh, uh let me fix this uh, the value that I have uh, printed before. So I just put this one in the on the right side of the equal sign. So now if I go back and refresh my browser, I should get uh, the result 10 to is first one alert. And then as you can see, the very first part is the uh, document get element. The last one was uh, document right now in order to be more organized or be easy to be able to easily change the content because now if I want to change anything in this equation I have to change it in three places so I'll create a variable called result store the result into that variable and uh, we just just use the result to print whatever that is I want to print so now I have uh, the option to change it only in one place and in fact three different places this time I enter 10 20 instead of 2 so I get 10 plus 20 and here is all you have to do in order to be able to access different uh, parameter of your script I uh, hope you enjoyed the video talk to you soon boy